Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mixed Media Monday. I am Ophelia and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, today we realized is National Love People Day and believe you me, um, yes, I love all of you guys out there and it just truly makes my heart <laughs> happy that every month, every Monday or every other Monday, you guys choose out of all the videos on YouTube to click on the one that says Mixed Media Monday with me and um, share along in this whole little journey that we or I, we have decided to put out on the internet. Um, and so for that, I truly appreciate it. Um, on this whole Love People Day National, if you will, um, I thought it would be a great idea to think about what inspires you. And no, I'm going to struggle with how to make the two come together. National Love People Day, what inspires you. Maybe your love for others inspires you. That one was a cool one that just came to me. I'm not sure. Um, but I am going to work today to kind of combine the both and to build a page around mainly um, what inspires me. And I hope that in playing along, you discover, and maybe you try to take some time to discover this before you actually start playing. Um, but I wanted to work today around what inspires me. And of course, this will probably be infused with a whole lot of story times because I love telling stories. I just, do, I, I can't help it. I just, I just do. I should have been a storyteller in my old life, in my pre, maybe in my previous life. Okay, see, that's a whole different story. But I love to tell stories and then I get stuck in the stories and then it gets awkward. So I'm going to get back to what I was seeing in the first place, which is today I'm creating a page around what inspires me. And I hope that you will take a few minutes to Think about things that inspire you, and then you'll be inspired to play along with me. So I'm using just my basic materials, um, acrylic paints, and here I have just a variety. I am not sure if I will use all of them, but I wanted to put them all out. And then in another video, I'm going to show you guys because I, I feel as though People think that I waste a lot of paint, but I will show you guys what I kind of do with the leftovers or what I don't use. Back to what I was saying, however. Um, I've got some Lucas Carmine, Lucas Indian Yellow, Titanium White, Turquoise, my brand new favorite Arctic is that color. Where? What, why have we been hiding this color? I don't know. Um, some light gray, some Payne's gray. And then the Sennelier Abstract number 615. So I've kind of pulled out this color palette. I don't, I don't know which side we're going to go toward yet. But um, this is what I've gotten out here. And we are just going to play around with paints on our journal. And let's just talk about things that inspire us. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this journal page and hopefully the inspiration will come as I'm telling you guys all the stories. So um, grab your supplies or grab a snack and a drink and let's go ahead and get started. I, I'm, I am kind of thirsty. I'm going to grab my drink. I'm going to just start by building a background and um, a couple of things you guys may notice already whenever I'm I'm nervous or I'm anxious about my next move, I will either A, dry things or B, stall. Um, right now I'm stalling, but because I have nothing to dry. But I am going to see, I already forgot my point. I am going to just make myself pick a color and get it on this page because literally all I'm doing right now is putting something down. And the longer I stare, at this empty page, the more anxious I get about it. So let's, let's just go. And um, yet we said that I should pick my new favorite color, but here's yellow. <laughs> and 
um, because it's just safe. It's just I, I don't, I need to, and I want somebody out there to hold me accountable for the fact that every video that we upload, I preach to you guys like, oh, don't overthink it, just do it. And I'm the worst overthinker -er, um, that there is. So I need to definitely practice far more of what I preach, which is just don't overthink it, enjoy the process, but it is quite it is just stressful. Let's just, it's despite the stress of it, despite the fear, um, the one thing that we all agree on because we're all in this together is that it, we don't allow that fear to stop us and we don't um, just look at all the colors or look at all the possibilities and shut down from it. We just kind of um, keep going. And so um, maybe Maybe that's the whole point of me being here. But anywho, back to our um, our challenge for today, and that is what inspires you. I think I've told you guys before that I am in no way whatsoever trained in like arts education or anything like that, other than me just taking a whole lot of workshops. Um, and learning as much as I can just I I'm I'm just let's I, if I've never told you before here you are here we are together um I am I am not trained in any in any way and so sometimes I feel as though maybe my whole job or my whole calling I don't I don't even know what my words are I've lost all of my words and then it still gets awkward because now I don't have any words I don't know what I'm doing but um I I feel as though maybe my whole calling in this whole art thing is to inspire other people and um which can be a good thing um or it's like people are inspired by my disasters I, I don't know I don't know but what I do know is that um, I just honestly love that whole act of creating. And so the simple act of creating is honestly what inspires me. I just, I, I've even, I just said that, yes, it does make me anxious when I stare at a blank page, but the whole thought of not creating or not making something is far worse than what I'm about to do to this blank page because the blank page can be flipped or tossed or thrown away um, or painted over. So the end result of it, um, I don't let that bother me. I just honestly love the entire act of putting paint on a palette and then um, picking up my brushes and then making marks and just the entire act of creating. And so um, I feel as the, I, one, it is very hard to talk while you're painting. Two, I don't know where I am in this story. Three, I'm thirsty. I'll be right back. I forgot where I was. I legit forgot. I forgot where, does any, Christina, where was I? I think what I was saying was, um, I am inspired by the simple act of creating regardless of what that final outcome is because for me the the finished painting is lovely but it's not what makes like my heart just sing and so I think that I am um I don't even know if we want to call it a calling call it a calling I, I'm not sure if that's what we want to call it but I, I just feel like my job or my calling is to inspire others and um I just that to me just inspires me I should I don't even know how to put it in correct words but for me to inspire other people through what I do totally inspires me to keep going um, when 
as we have all watched before, things don't go as planned or things end up being very ugly because I, I just feel as though that is how we all grow is by pushing forward and by not letting things like fear or being anxious about the end results um, keep us from doing the things that we love and are so passionate about. So, um, ooh, that was a whole lot of words to say. I am A, inspired by the act of creating, but I'm also inspired by my inspiring other people. Did those words make any sense? I'm inspired by inspiration. Were you saying that to be funny or was that your, because <laughs> then I feel dumb like, oh yeah, that's it. And you're like, no, that's not. But okay, that is it. I'm inspired by inspiration. Um, what kind of things inspire you? Is it the looking online and seeing what other people create? Um, definitely, I get like a recharge if I go to say a gallery um, and look at other people's artwork. I'm also very inspired by um, going and seeing other people's studios. I think some of my favorite videos to watch even are when people like show us behind the scenes of their own studios. Um, I am definitely inspired by watching other people create. Um, I just, anything, I guess that's art related or even art materials related. I just, in the midst of the video, I just want to like jump off of my couch and head to my studio and paint. And so um, I hope that I just give you guys like even a glimmer of that type of inspiration because I'm truly just inspired by all of the art things and it's like it's I feel as though art is my passion and so um being inspired by others just totally makes it all worthwhile and so I hope to be like even a snippet of that inspiration to you um I'm kind of lost in my story again, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. My page is dry. I don't know where I am in the story time, so I'm just gonna keep on going. Now it's like a free for all. We're, we're just gonna ramble until we get to the end and we're just gonna hope for the best, okay? So I'm gonna take this background stamp because that's what I want to, am I even talking any, I feel like my voice just got low. Okay, um, <laughs> I am a distraction to myself. I am going to take this background stamp and I like to use the background stamp for just some visual interest. Um, I've stamped it off once so that I just get like a little bit of the image peeking through because I don't want anything, I never want things to be perfect or at least that's what I tell myself so that when it's not perfect, I'm like, yeah, I planned that. Um, so. Ooh, I don't know why I made that noise because it's a nervous noise. But now that I've, noise? that is my nerve. That was like a Chewbacca. I can't, I cannot do that noise again. But um, I've gotten down a background pretty good. And I think that I may, just to torture myself a little bit, I want to see what happens if, n not yet, not yet, Ophelia, patience, patience, Timmy. Isn't there a movie that says, like, patience? You know what, we're not even, we're, I'm not sure of what, I don't know, but I'm going to use a stencil and a makeup sponge, and I'm just going to bring in another color, and I think... I want this color to add a bit of a pop of interest. I'm not sure yet of what it's gonna do, but you know, that's kind of my hope. So here we go. Yep, see how it kinda does nothing, but it does something, I planned that. 
And so, and I think that's why I love this Arctic color is because it's just so soft. It doesn't like, um, <sighs> we are struggling today. It does not like immediately take over what you're doing. And maybe here in just a second, I'll show you the difference in like my usual um, turquoise. But this guy, it just kind of adds the softest something. I left all my words at home today too. So that's, that's where we're, we're back to the story. Okay, so I was seeing, I would love to know in the comments below. I don't, I don't know. Wait a minute, before I say that one, I'm going to see here what a little bit of my usual turquoise will do as we're talking. Because this is going to be more of like a bold and uh, like in your faceness, where that Arctic is more of like a soft, yeah, I'm here kind of situation. So in the comments below, I would love for you guys to share with me um, ideas or things that inspire you. Is it um, gardening? Is it um, color? Is it words? Is it like a quote or song lyrics? Um, is it other people's um, creating? Is it when people get up and leave out of your life suddenly? Wait, that usually makes you sad, not inspires you. But um, what does, what inspires you? What inspires you the most? Um, and so if you'll just leave me those comments and we can even have conversations on them. I think I've said before, I am superbly behind in um, responding to comments, but I promise you guys, I will, I will get back to it. Um, we just, we, it's, we just got along. So now that I've covered this in diamonds, which I didn't expect to do that. Um, maybe the unknown inspires you. I, I don't, I think let's, can we just give up on the story time? Cause I've lost where I am in the story. And so now the story, I, I don't, I would have to start the story all over again, which we, 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 we don't want to do that. So since we're at that awkward moment, I'm going to let this situation dry and I'll be right back. Um, hey Ming, do we really know? We, nobody knows where I am in this story. Can we just ditch the story till next time? Okay. Thank you. Um, on the next episode, I was born on a small farm. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I am going to take this gray color because I, I, I don't, I'm thinking I'm going to do something. It's probably not going to turn into what I wanted it to turn into. Um, the beautiful part is I don't even know what I want it to turn into yet, but I just, I'm going to, I've created like a wash and I'm going to kind of, I want to step back from all of the, what do you call this pattern? Harlequin? Is that what we call this? It's kind of overtaking things because I got into the story and was not paying attention to what I was doing. So now I want to bring all of this kind of back or soften this background a little bit more than what it was. So I'm going to take this gray color and if you have um, like a glazing liquid or a, um, I don't know what else we call it, a glazing liquid, which I failed to bring today. So I'm, I've just kind of taken my paint and made it a little bit more watery. Um, but if you've got like a glazing liquid or that's the only word coming to me right now, that's what you would mix with your paint to um, make the the glaze over what we're doing. And my what I'm trying to do, if this works, clearly it looks like it's not going to work. But what I'm trying to do is bring all of this back 
to getting rid of, I guess, the overcrowdedness of that Harlequin pattern. Um, and so I'm just going to like cover everything with this gray soup mixture and I'm going to let it sit for just a minute and then I'm going to wipe it all off. And I believe it's been a minute and I'm just going to wipe this away. Um, do you really see, I feel like they're overpowering. Everyone on the internet now realizes that what I just did did nothing. So hold on, I'm going to redo it and I'm going to show you what I mean. This time I'm going to mix that same soupy mixture because I left my glazing liquid at home. And so I've just kind of added like a not, not a lot, lot of water, um, but just a little bit of water to the yellow and white um, where I want it to kind of bring on a soupy, can I have, my words are somewhere else. And for the, oh, see, this is what we're after. That kind of milky color. Just every, all friends out there, if you'll stick with me for three seconds, this will make sense. And if not, um, it's gonna be exactly what I planned. <laughs> okay, so now this, situation will sit for just a minute. I wanted it to be more of like a, um, like a cloudiness look to just knock everything to the background. And I know now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have tried like a beige color, like this Lucas sand um, is probably one that I should have tried, but I'm gonna let this sit for just a second and then We'll try wiping it off again and kind of push all of the diamonds a little bit more into the background. Uh-huh, see that napkin, it's, there's nobody really here but me as I get this revelation, but this is kind of, this is exactly what we're going for, exactly. So, I am, <laughs> The story is over. I don't know where we are in the story. Um, we're at another one of those um, awkward points in the video where I'm gonna need to stall to collect myself, which means we're gonna dry this. I'll be right back. So let's, maybe we should all pretend that there really was not a story because I don't remember where I was in the story. So then the story is technically irrelevant we're gonna go ahead and finish this because our point for today around the story was what inspires you. And as I've said, I am truly inspired by other people's creations. I am truly inspired by um, other people's spaces. I am truly inspired by the materials and the process. Um, I am truly inspired by making messes. I am truly inspired by, um, what else am I inspired by? I think I've said the materials. This is about to grow into another story that I'm never gonna be able to finish. I am inspired by my tribe of people um, or being around other artists. Um, because my gosh, that in and of itself is to me like one of the, the community of it. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I just get so very inspired by this whole entire art community because so many people in the art community are just so very um, sharing or like sharing of their not only their tools or um, supplies. I don't know if you guys have ever been in a, like even a workshop setting or situation before and you look around like, oh man, I don't have a, whatever the instructor says, like whatever it is that we need. And it's like the gates of the art supply store just kind of opens up and everybody's like, oh, I have that color, use mine. And to me that, like the whole art community, just they inspire me as a whole, not necessarily even what they create, but just their 
their friendliness and their giving. Um, so I'm definitely inspired by the art community as well as just my art tribe of friends. Um, so, um, I'm not going to paint over this too many more times. That I can promise you. I keep thinking that if I pick the right paint, my story will come back to me. And that story I already got on the bus and it left. So we are, um, I'm going to finish this. And then um, wrap this whole situation up. Wonder if. Okay. Cue the music. I don't. I don't. I don't have any more words. Cue the music. Anybody has any suggestions for how to paint and talk without sounding like a blithering idiot? I've covered that in the last 853 minutes that I've been here. Um, please pass those along. So, all right, let's do that. And we're back at that moment where I'm going to dry some things up. So I'll be right back. I've also changed the... Um, nobody notices I'm stalling. Um, orientation of this and I'm I don't know if this is good if this is bad I don't know I'm inspired by the unknown yeah trying be right back okay I'm gonna scoot this out of the way for just a second another thing that inspires me is um maybe we already discussed this, but like my materials in my studio. And so if I am ever stuck or in a rut, I love to go to my piles of things and um, just start flipping through that stuff. And that can kind of, I don't know, lead where a page is going or, um, inspire me to even pull out all of my supplies to start creating something because all I think we've all been in that situation before where you go to your studio and um, you sit there and you've got all the time in perfect conditions yet nothing comes to you that happens to me quite a bit so instead of closing the door and walking out um, I just kind of hang out for a bit, start flipping through my supplies or whatever. And um, it's like then something clicks and all of the inspiration comes. So I am going to dig through my piles of paper, maybe. And use what I find as inspiration to make this page complete. All right, so I'm going to move this over. This, these guys will be auditioned. And um, I, I, if you think I can't paint and talk, I cannot cut and talk. That would just, do we have a band-aid? Um, Cue, cue the music. No. Oh my gosh, there goes, um, what do you call it? HR, it's not HR, it's, is it OSHA? What do you call it? Oh, come It's But what do you call the people that say like 32 days without an accident? <laughs> There's something else. What do we, what do we call that? <laughs> Okay, okay, so I've auditioned this. I think this is, um, I've lost, it. oh no, I didn't. Um, you know what? We're just gonna, remember at the beginning of the story when I said I struggle the worst with overthinking things? We are just going to now take our snippets and um, 
I usually, or I've been kind of playing around with auditioning them where I want them to go. Um, but then there comes a point where I literally just kind of have to stop thinking about it and just doing it. So, here we go. Okay, with that, whew, and that was a long that, I think we're done, maybe. And I may, which brings up another point to another story that we could get into in another episode, I may completely come back and revisit this because I think what's bothering me here is there's a lot of empty space. Um, but for now, and for the sake of angry faces, I think we're going to call this done. Um, what I think I love the most of spending time with you guys today is that A, I've realized that we inspire each, I found a rubber band. We inspire each other. Um, and I truly appreciate you guys for that. Um, and see, I've already forgotten the second part of that story. Um, and A, or C, or whatever letter we're on now, um, to we don't have to necessarily finish things all in one sitting. Um, maybe I'll come back and revisit this at some point when I'm just at home alone or the it just strikes me, I'm not sure. But I truly am inspired by you guys and all of the beautiful disasters that we create together. And for that, I thank you and Thank you for watching. And if you've created something, definitely let us know in the comments below. Definitely let us know what inspires you. Um, please be sure on Instagram to use the hashtag Mixed Media Monday and at Jerry's Artorama and at Ophelia Staten um, to show us what you're doing. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. It gets harder to see that up front camera from oh, oh that's a cut by the way we're done we're done and cut this is good curtains as my son says curtains
And I said, what's curtains? And he said, show's over. Deuces. <laughs> Deuces. All right, that's it. <laughs>